Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today, I have the limited edition Mothership Rose Decadence palette here for you. I got a couple of their lip liners, a bunch of their lip products. I got all of the lip divinals as well as a lip fetish astral. So I think I'm gonna do the lip divinals in another video because I wanna swatch all of them on my lips. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and go over this Mothership Rose Decadence Palette. Okay, this Rose Decadence Palette comes in this gorgeous, gorgeous case. And it's got that Pat McGrath Labs gold here and it's beautiful with these roses. And it opens like this. And it's got the plastic with the names of the shades in there. So I'm gonna keep that right here by the mirror. And this is what the shades look like. So let me describe to you, or let me read what Pat McGrath says. I, I don't know who her copywriter is, but they use a lot of um, adjectives. So this is a six shade love letter to Ravishing Roses. This limited edition palette is rendered in a soon worthy array of cream matte incendiary shimmers and one of divinely decadent duochrome evoking the brilliance and splendor of legendary royal gardens the stunning bouquet sets eyes passionately alight in luxuriously lightweight ultra blendable shades ranging from parc du maison inspired i don't know if i said that right inspired pinks and carnal coral to luminous rose infused metallics and a fiercely futuristic fuchsia illuminated by violet, ultraviolet sparks. So that's how Pat McGrath describes this. So let's go ahead and talk about this. This is the Decadence palette and it's supposedly limited edition. And the reason I say supposedly is because the um, Divine Rose palette was supposed to be limited edition. So let me show you the Divine Rose. So this is what the Divine Rose looks like. And let me show you next to the Decadence palette. So they're not the same. Now let me show you the Rose Decadence, I mean Rose Divine Rose 2 next to the Rose Decadence. They're not the same either. These six shades are brand new shades that she said she has. So let's go ahead and swatch them. I'm gonna swatch them clockwise from here and um, let's do this. This is pink champagne, a warm frosted pink. Next is peach dusk, a pink coral matte. Next is fuchsia flame a warm pink duochrome with fuchsia purple flash. Isn't that pretty? And going to this one, this one is golden honey, light antique gold. Next is scandalous rose bronze metallic. And then the last one here is hedonistic rose, a mid-tone pink mauve. So there you have it. Those are the colors of the Rose Decadence palette. Now she says this is limited edition, but we know how that goes, right? If it's popular enough, she's gonna come out with more. So let's go ahead and get started with this eye look. Okay, let's go into this peach dust color, and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. And I do have eye primer on. I'm gonna bring that right into the crease. I have a doctor's appointment, so I don't wanna to go too cray cray. Okay, it's blending out well. I'm gonna go in with the same brush and go into this hedonistic rose and I'm gonna use that on the outer portion of my lid. Now I'm just blending that up and out. 
blending really well. It always looks like I'm missing something right here in the camera, but in real life, it's not showing that way. Okay, then I'm gonna take a flatter brush and let's go into, we, of course we have to try the Fuchsia Flame, the duochrome right here, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid, or at least to the outer third. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Ooh. Then I'm gonna use the other side of the brush and go into this antique gold color and put that in the front portion of my eye. Kind of pat that to blend the two colors together. Then I'm going back in with my original brush and I'm gonna kind of blend that so that it's all blended together. Okay, then for my bottom lashes, I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm gonna go into the duochrome and I'm gonna line my lower lashes, the lower lash line. Going almost all the way in. And then I'm gonna wipe that off and then go into the gold and do that in the front or the middle third of my lower lashes. Ooh, mixing this makes it a peach color. Use that as my inner highlight. Then using the same brush, I'm gonna go into Hedonistic Rose and I'm gonna use that on the outer third of my lower lash line. I also got um, the Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Black Coffee and Extreme Black. So I'm gonna use the Extreme Black to tight line my waterline and the black coffee to do the lower third of my lashes. I'm always on the lookout for a liner that won't that won't um, smudge, you know what I mean? And I still can't find one. And then I'm using black coffee on the outer lower third of my eye just a little bit just to give it some definition because i don't have any eyelashes there and just kind of connect the two like that i'm going to curl my eyelashes using the serrat so i'm using the pat McGrath. Fetish, fetish Eyes Mascara. Now this mascara, I like the way it looks, but it always smudges on me, so that's why I prefer not to use this, but I do like the way it makes my, my lashes look. Okay, so there's the eye look. Okay, let's try the lips. And just so you know, I do have the Pat McGrath foundation and concealer and powder on. Um, what I did want to show you was that the new Decadence palette just opens in half like this, which I love because her other six pan palettes come in this stringy thing that's a trifold, and this is kind of a pain to use. So I'm glad she has that because it doesn't stay open. I'm thankful for that new packaging. But wouldn't it be great if this came in this type of a packaging? I'm just saying, that would be awesome. Okay, I got two lip liners. I, the, I got two new ones. One is in the color Starstruck. And it comes in this packaging. Let's go ahead and swatch that right here. Ooh, that's a pretty color. That's Starstruck. And then the other color came in this pretty purple packaging and I got half naked and that's this color right here. Ooh, that's pretty too, half naked. So I'm not gonna try those on right now, but I do wanna try on the Lip Fetish Rose Quartz Astral. It comes in this little packaging like this. It doesn't even have these tabbies here anymore like, like this one. It's just pictured that way. Although the lipstick still have that with the string. I mean the eyeliners. But the new lip 
lip liners do not. Okay, so let's open this. It opens like a cigarette box. So I got mine in the color Rose Quartz. And look at how pretty this is, this glitter packaging. But it's smooth, it's not rough like glitter. And this is what Rose Quartz looks like. This is one of the new shades. I only got one. And this is what that color looks like. Oh, pretty. So let's put that on today. Ooh, that's pretty. It feels really balmy. I can tiny bit tell that there's glitter in there. Barely, barely tell. But that's the one of the new lip fetish astrals. Okay, so the lip divinals, these six that I have, I'm gonna swatch for you in another video because I do wanna do a wear, I mean, not a wear test. I do wanna try them all on and swatch them all. So let's go ahead and talk about this palette. Okay, I feel like the quality of these are not as high as her uh, Mothership palettes. These are beautiful, they blended well, um, and they're pretty. But do you need to buy this? I'm glad I have it in my collection, but I'm also a Pat McGrath lover. So I'm glad I have this, and um, I think if you're interested in Pat McGrath eyeshadows, um, this might be a good entry point. And if you don't have the Mothership Divine Rose 1 or Divine Rose 2, this might be a good um, way to get into the Pat McGrath eyeshadows. I will tell you, it is an uh, entryway drug. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm glad I have it. Um, just know that these shadows perform well, but the Mothership palettes, the big 10 pen palettes, perform way better. And the 10 pen palettes also have the specialty shades that make it worth getting the 10, 10 shade palettes. As for the Lip Astral, I'm glad I have that too. Very pretty. And I'll have to let you know about the eyeliners. Okay, so there you have it. That is my look with the Rose Decadence Limited Edition palette. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy this type of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.